Okay, welcome to In Motion OC, the premier health facility in Orange County, California. We are passionate about helping people and providing them with life-changing services and information. And to that end, we have quite an event tonight. Uh, I want to introduce you to, in just a moment, to Shan Stratton. Shan is the nutritional consultant to the pros. And by that I mean he has hundreds and has had hundreds and continues to have hundreds of professional athlete clients, uh, collegiate athlete clients, and countless others. When he was 22, graduated from college from uh, Central Arizona, right, in Casa Grande, Arizona, and uh, went and worked for a nutritional supplement company for seven months without pay. <laughs> Lived with his parents, obviously. <laughs> the reason why he did that is because he wanted to learn. And apparently learned he did because seven months later, he was in the office of the New York Yankees. They gave him five minutes to convince him of what he had to say. Well, in that five minutes, he was able to convince the New York Yankees to trust him. And that started a career for him that has led to where he is today. It is also the same message that convinced the New York Yankees to trust him was the same reason why he is a sought after speaker both in America and across the world. He speaks in front of thousands of people, including last weekend. Uh, Natalie and I both had a chance to see him for the second time, speaking in front of about 900 people in Las Vegas. He turns down many speaking engagements each week, so we were very fortunate that he, he not only agreed to speak here, but that he actually chose our location to re-record his message for DVD production. It's really an updated message, which is why he wants to re-record it. Updated because three years ago, his message changed drastically and you're about to find out why. So with uh, all that said, I'm going to introduce you to Shan Stratton. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate it. I uh, appreciate the opportunity. And uh, let me first of all start out by saying how honored I am to be here. What a beautiful facility this is. I was actually over here in November of last year. We did a big event at one of the big hotels just down the roadway. And after the event, I was invited to come over here and, and take a look at this facility. And it is a true state-of-the-art facility here in, in beautiful Irvine, California, Orange County. You know, Orange County is known all over the world. And, and to be able to, to find a facility like this right here that would ask me to come and speak at, uh, it truly is an honor. Uh, everything that they do here from, from the physical training to aquatic training to nutrition. Uh, just earlier, I got to meet with their nutritionist that, that's here. And, and what, what education? and what professional people are here, it's, it's an honor to be here. So Jeff, Natalie, first of all, congratulations on a great facility. And secondly, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me here. It is an honor to be here tonight, folks, uh, from, from many different perspectives. But first and foremost, because part of what I try and do is share a message that changes people's lives. Because we look in America today, and there are so many challenges in regards to health. In fact, with a little audience feedback, let me ask you, are we getting healthier as America or less healthy? Less. Less healthy. Is there more cancer or less cancer? More. More diabetes or less diabetes? More. More joint. See, you know where I'm going with this, and they're getting worse and worse and worse, yet there are more dietitians, more nutritionists, more fitness centers, more information on the websites, more newspaper articles, more magazines that are teaching us about how to be healthy. See, there's something wrong. We can't continue to do the same things and expect a different result. You'll hear me often tonight refer to a phrase that I, that I use often in my events, and that is that if we continue to do the same thing today that we've done yesterday, we'll have the same problems tomorrow that we have today. I suspect that's why you're here tonight. And that's why those that may be listening to, to this DVD from all across the world, you're listening to it or watching it, because you want to make a change in your own personal life and then offer those changes to friends and family members. See, it's my honor and my pleasure to have been in this industry for 20 years now. As Jeff mentioned earlier, I started 20 years ago. I worked for free for a company that I went and sought out because they had a tagline that was enzyme-based. I'm going to share with you tonight what that meant to me then and what it means to me now. And when I started working with them, I had the opportunity. I was given the responsibility of, of searching out people that were willing and to use our products and then possibly even uh, take a look at us as a company. And one of the first things I said is, why do you want to start at the bottom? In fact, my father taught me at a young age. He said, son, whenever you commit to something, don't start at the bottom. 
He said it takes no more work to start at the top as it does to start at the bottom. And that was something that now I look back on and I realize that that was meant for me to realize the power of passion about something. And folks, I hope that you feel tonight the passion that I have for changing the quality of life. I've spoke for 20 years now all across the country in multiple different countries. I've worked with multiple different athletic organizations. I've worked with multiple different Olympic organizations. I've worked with hundreds of professional athletes. And I have spoken events all across the world, but there's two things that I've done in every single event I've done from day one. And it all starts out with my family. Folks, I can't do what I do without my wife and my three children. I am so appreciative for all that they do for me and the support that they give us. And they understand the mission. They understand that we as a family have been given a blessing to teach and educate on health and quality of life that we've been given. My three children right there, they understand the message. In fact, my youngest son, his teacher called us not too long ago and said, we need to have you come down and meet with the principal. I said, I, I don't understand why. They said, well, we're just not so sure that all his kids in his class can afford a $4,000 machine at this point. <laughs> so I said, oh my gosh, I get it, okay? So they understand that we need to share this message with people. They understand how the quality of life can be changed. I've been so fortunate, it gives a little indication of what we enjoy as a family. As a family, we enjoy outdoors. We enjoy horseback riding. I grew up on a ranch in northern Arizona. But the second thing that I do in every event that I've done, folks, is to share a mission statement. A statement that allows me and my family to get up and drive as hard as we can every single day. And that mission statement is to enhance and enrich the quality of life for millions of people worldwide, physically, mentally, and financially. The key word there to me is quality. So many people are missing that quality of life that has been offered to us if we follow some basic principles, which I'm going to share with you here tonight. I have watched for 20 years that quality improve in so many people. Over the past three years in particular, I was able to add another aspect into the principles that I've taught, which is the water. And that's what we're going to talk about here tonight. Some of the individual athletes that I've had the great opportunity of working with, everyone from uh, Reggie Jackson to Yogi Berra to Kurt Warner, all the way down. I've just listed a few of them in there from all the different sports, from professional baseball to football to professional tennis and hockey and so on and so forth. Uh, NFL players. This one here, it's very unique. I always stop here to explain in case there's any confusion. I'm the one on the right over there. Okay, <laughs> But... Uh, I've had that opportunity of meeting with these people and improving their quality of performance on the field. And that's given me so much joy. It's given me an opportunity to use those experiences to come out in general population, just like here tonight, and share with you, and share through this DVD that we're recording tonight, information that I believe with all of my heart has and will continue to change that quality of life for millions of people. Now to start, we've got to understand some principles. First of all, that $2.7 trillion is being spent on healthcare in America today. $2.7 trillion. I don't even know how much money that is. I can't even get my mind around it, but the one thing that I do know is that the second part of this statistic is what bothers me. That of that 2.7, 90% of what is spent on what is titled healthcare is spent after someone is sick. Spent after you have cancer, after you have diabetes, after you have joint degeneration, after you have these diseases and illnesses and sicknesses and weaknesses and pains and aches. That's when this money is spent. Folks, that's not a health care program. That is a sick management program. Mm -hmm. If we don't want to continue to manage the sick, then we better start preventatively teaching people how to be healthy. See, I believe that we as a country have fallen back into being reactive to disease rather than proactive to health. What I teach, what is taught in this fantastic facility here in Motion OC, is preventative measures to health. Those are the principles that I want to share with you tonight. And again, I hope that you can feel the, the true passion that I have for what we're teaching. Because there will be some points tonight where you ask yourself, wow, that's different. I've never heard that before. Why haven't I heard that before? That's what's important. Do the same thing today we did yesterday. We're going to have the same problems tomorrow that we have today. If you're okay with where we're at, this probably isn't for you. 
if you want to make some changes, we've got some principles. See, we believe that healthcare is made up of multiple different pieces. It's much like a puzzle. You can have the most beautiful picture, and it's made into a puzzle. And as you start putting these pieces together, that beauty of the picture starts forming, and you start seeing that there is some beauty there. But if you miss just one or two or three pieces of this puzzle, it makes that puzzle look not so pretty. You can't enjoy the full beauty of that puzzle. Much like our health care, our health is made up of multiple different pieces of a puzzle that without all of those pieces, we will unfortunately miss on some of the full advantage of what is there for us. So what I'm going to share with you tonight are two specific pieces of that puzzle, specifically down in the bottom there, water and nutrition slash supplementation. Those are important pieces to that puzzle of health, but it's not the only two. There's no miracle water that cures everything. There's no nutritional product that cures everything, but they are pieces to this all-important puzzle. Just like sleep and just like exercise and just like the quality of air and just like your mental attitude and your spiritual positioning, whatever it might be, I think you would all agree that there are pieces that we need to address. As I said, we're going to talk about the water first and foremost because three years ago I was introduced to a technology that changed the way I taught health and nutrition. A technology that provides three unique properties, antioxidation, microclustering, or what I refer to as small water, making regular water smaller for increased absorption, and alkalinization. See, I understood alkalinization because I taught for many years for those athletes to try and change the, their diets to be more alkaline. Let me see by a show of hands, how many of you tried to eat an alkaline diet? Anybody? All those people that are raising their hands, is there anyone still on an alkaline diet? <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? It's almost impossible. Now try to get a professional athlete to do that, it is impossible. But if we have a water that can do that, which I was skeptical about, and when it was introduced to me three years ago, I said, come on, guys. Because of the caliber of teams and organizations that I work with, I get everything introduced to me, and you're trying to sell me on water? I mean, after all, water is water, right? That's what I thought. I will share with you tonight how that is not the case, and I was wrong. In fact, I had to go back to the athletes and the organizations that I worked with and said, guys, guess what? I missed an important aspect. I missed possibly the most important aspect, and that is the water. See, there are places across this world that people wait in line for a water that they refer to as miracle water. We don't refer to it as miracle water, but in general senses, other places in the world are referring to it as miracle water. In Lourdes, France, in Norden, Al Germany, in Tecate, Mexico, some of these very unique places that the water, the aquifers, is still supplying antioxidant-rich alkaline water. All of those places had that in common. We don't get that luxury here in the United States for whatever reason. All of our aquifers, all of our source water is, for the most part, acidic. It's void of the antioxidants that natural, pure, structured water is supposed to have. And we miss a lot of that. But I didn't know that. 17 years in the industry, I had no idea. So when they were trying to sell me on this and talk to me about this three years ago, I was extremely skeptical. But as they started sharing information like this, and we were able to, able to verify that, that there are locations that still provide the most natural sources of alkaline, ion-rich water. The thing that I wanted to look at is let's talk antioxidants first of all. See, when we look at the word oxidation, we know that the body is oxidized by a lot of different things. We know that there are things that cause our body to age faster. In fact, I bet most of you, when you saw the word oxidation, the first thing that came to mind was rust. Oxidation and rust go hand in hand. What is it when our body rusts? It's aging. Are we seeing aging faster today than ever before? Absolutely. We're seeing challenges. Things like pollution, electromagnetic fields, cell phones, microwaves, TVs, physical stress, emotional stress. Smoking, secondhand smoke, drinking, alcohol, so many things, folks, are in fact oxidizing our body. But that's part of the environment that we live in. 
that's part of what we are going to get hammered with every day. So we have taken a proactive step, many of us, to say we need something that reverses or slows that oxidation down, which is often referred to as antioxidation. See, antioxidation slows that oxidative process. We want to slow that process the best that we can. We can do that through fruits and vegetables. We can get it through good essential fats and fatty acids. We can get it through vitamin C and vitamin E. Well, exactly what is being taught in America today, exactly what I taught for 17 years, where do we get most all of those sources? From the foods we eat. We are so conditioned to focus on the foods that we eat to get all of the things that we need to battle the environmental factors that we are facing in America today. But unbeknownst to me, there is an antioxidant, or should be, in the water that we drink. It's a negatively ionized hydrogen molecule. And unfortunately, that's not in the aquifers. That's not in the water that we have access to. We need that antioxidant in the water that we drink. And when you look at the fact that we have the ability to measure, an actual unit of measure that tells us which or how much antioxidizing potential each liquid has. In a food, it's measured by... ORAC. Any of you have heard of ORAC values, O-R-A-C. That's how antioxidants are measured in foods. In water, it's measured by oxidation reduction potential, referred to as ORP. It's a lot easier to understand, at least for me, if I read it backwards. Anything that has the greatest potential to reduce oxidation is the greatest thing that we can put into our body. So here was what was being taught to me is that negative ORP is what we want. We want more on the negative side. See, it's just like golf. The more into the negative side you get, the better off it is. If you stay at zero or par, or if you start on the positive side, which is my score, you're in trouble. It's not as good. So we want things that are on the opposite side. Ironically, things that are oxidizing causing an increase in aging, an increase in uh, soreness, an increase or slowing down of the recovery process. If we are drinking things like bottled water, tap water, sports drinks, carbonated drinks, how many of you did not know, even as you sit here tonight, that the bottled waters you might be drinking is causing an increase in the aging process? Anybody not know that? I didn't. I had no idea. So they actually showed me with an instrument, and I'm going to show you right here tonight. We actually have an instrument that measures the ORP, or the potential to reduce that oxidation. And what we want is we want things that are negative. Because the more negative they are, the higher the potential to reduce that oxidation. Some of your common waters, how many of you drank Aquafina? How many of you was that the poison of choice? Okay. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> How about Dasani? Okay. How about uh, whatever that is? Okay. We've all drank these before. How about Propel and some of the other sports drinks? We've all drank these before. I did not know. What I'm about to show you is that when we put this measuring unit in here, it's not easy to see, but it is on the positive side. This one is a positive 150 and climbing. Okay? It is oxidizing up in this area up here. As you can see, most bottled waters are around the 200 or 200 plus mark. Okay? Let's just go on down through here. You're going to have to take my word for it. This one's up above 200. Okay? You can see it here, so you can verify. Okay? Now we're up to 280. 280 positive Aquafina. 325 now and continuing to climb. Okay, let's go to sports drinks. Sports drinks are healthy for us. <laughs> Jumping up there. 350 and climbing. Okay, let's try Perrier water. That's got to be healthy for us. Positive number. Well, guess what? It dropped down a little bit. It's only a positive 280. So it's only going to kill you slowly. <laughs> okay, let's go to Sprite. Any carbonated drinks. We're at 280 on there as well. The carbonated drinks are damaging. But guess what? From an ORP, an oxidation, the ability to reduce oxidation, all of these are promoting oxidation. We want to reverse that. 
So when I take some of this water that we just took right out of that technology that I told you about that has high antioxidizing capabilities, I'm going to put this in here and I'm not even going to look at it, but you tell me. Negative 620. Negative 629. Negative. So we went from oxidizing liquids, causing our body to age. How many of you have taken antioxidants before because you wanted to be healthy? All of us in this room and all of us listening on these DVDs and people from all around the world, we take antioxidants because we know we are being hammered every day with oxidants. Environmental factors, cell phones, microwaves, TVs, pollutants, smoking, secondhand smoke, drinking, alcohol, physical stress, emotional stress, all of these things that we get hit with every day. So you can continue to drink and continue to fill your body with oxidizing liquids and then every now and then take something that is anti-oxidizing such as oranges or green tea. How many of you drink green tea? Okay, because it is what? An antioxidant, right? Look at the difference. Negative 100, and what did we have over there? Negative 600. Significantly more potential to reduce oxidation. Here's what I looked at. Folks, if the body is made up 75 to 80 percent water, and that water is full of oxidizing potential, you see why there might be some serious risks you see why there might be an increase in disease and illness and sickness right now today? You see why we're heading in the wrong direction even though the information given out there is how to be healthy? You see how some of the things that we have, have started doing may be causing more damage than good? I think it's important for us to say again, we do the same thing today we did yesterday, we're going to have the same problems tomorrow that we have today. We've got to make some changes and it starts with us in this room and thus in this state and us in this country and teaching our children. Those children need to understand the difference between the oxidative pros, uh, potentials of those waters and bottled waters and things like that and the reverse of that, the anti-oxidizing potentials. Okay? Let's talk a minute about alkalinization. Alkalinization is extremely important. We want the body to be more alkaline. We know that alkaline tissue does not allow or foster for disease growth. But on the other side, acidic tissue is a breeding ground and fosters disease growth. We know that cancer as one disease grows and spreads exponentially faster in an acidic tissue than in alkaline tissue. So again, I ask us if our body is full of oxidant liquids and acidic liquids, we could have some problems. And that's what we're seeing. Let me take you through another couple things. Battery acid has a pH of 1.0. 7 is neutral. Anything below 7 is extremely acidic. Battery acid is 1.0. Stomach acid is 2.0. Extremely acidic, right? Is there anybody in this room that would, that would offer to come up if I had a cup of stomach acid? Anybody offer to drink it? Of course not. What if I offered you 50 bucks? I bet there's still no one that would drink it because stomach acid is that acidic, right? right. But yet, guess what? Sports drinks, 2.4, would drink them all day long. Those sports drinks that we are being taught, watching on TV, reading in magazines, kids bringing home information, oh, mom, we got to drink this because so-and-so does. And it makes them a good athlete. Sports drinks are one of the most acidic drinks on the face of the earth. We weren't taught that. That's not any of the marketing materials. Energy drinks, so popular among the high school and college kids. Workers that are drinking Monsters and Red Bulls and all of these kinds of drinks. Extremely acidic. And I just showed you how acidity promotes disease. As we go down through here, we have the option, we have the opportunity to use a technology that takes water that comes right out of the ground, right at your sink, right at your faucet, and restructure that water into 9.5. That's exactly what I used right here. Alkaline water, ion-rich, antioxidant-rich water. Now, real quickly, I want to do the same thing, a visual test, but I'm going to use some drops here. These are pH drops, nothing magical or, or um, unique about them other than when you put it in a clear liquid it changes color 
based upon its pH. The more orange, yellow, or green, the more acidic they are. What we want is what color? Purple. purple. The more purple it is, the more alkaline it is. Acidic. Yellow. Extremely acidic. Okay, now here's one that's green. Green happens to be neutral. Neutral right in the middle. One of our bottled waters are neutral, but was it oxidizing or anti-oxidizing? It's oxidizing. Okay, all these acidic, 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 acidic. Now, let's take these same drops and let's put it in the 9.5 water, the water that came out of the technology that I'm telling you about, takes the water that we have stripped everything from, taken all of the anti-oxidizing potential out of it, made it acidic, and that is what we are drinking in America today. That is one of the major challenges that we are seeing in America today is increased acidity. And as that acidity continues to rise, we are having major, major issues. You saw this slide a minute ago here. If 70 to 80 percent of the body is made up of water, and that water is acidic and oxidizing, neutral possibly and oxidizing, acidic and oxidizing, if 70 percent of your body, of our body in this country today, is full of acidic, oxidizing liquids, what are we prone to? Sickness, illness, a reduction in the quality of life. Folks, my mission is to enhance and enrich that quality of life for millions of people worldwide, physically, mentally, and financially. And I did it for 17 years, the very best that I could, based upon all natural whole food supplementation, proper diet, and a lot of water. And I'm telling you now, for the past three years, we had the opportunity to incorporate into what we do the very principle of antioxidizing alkaline rich water. See, we've been conditioned to think that, well, we're not going to drink tap water. We don't drink tap water, right? Instead, we're going to drink bottled water. Why have we been told to drink bottled water instead of tap water? Because it's purified. It's filtered. It's clean. We've been told that. So nobody would ever drink tap water anymore. We go to bottled water. But we need to now understand the next step, and that is that if our bottled water even is purified, why would we drink bottled acidic on, uh, oxidative water when we have the option or uh, the opportunity to drink antioxidant-rich filtered antioxidant water? The reason that I put the percentages up there, and it's very hard to see, is that shows what percentage of various organs throughout the body is made up of water. Just to read them down through here, the brain is about 80% water, bones about 13%, kidneys about 82%, muscle 75%, and blood about 92% water. I didn't list up there the very organ that has the highest percentage of water of any organ in the entire body. Many of you might be thinking the skin, wrong. Many of you might be thinking some of the other organs. Unless you are thinking the lungs, you are wrong. Lungs have the highest percentage of water of any and all organs within our body. Well, lungs, okay, let's look at it. In the 1970s, we started and went through the health craze in that stop smoking uh, campaign was, was uh, put into America. Stop smoking campaign supported by the government was put into America to stop people from smoking because what cancer was growing so fast? Lung cancer. So since 1970, you look at the charts, smoking has gone down dramatically. The amount of smokers have, has reduced and the quantity of smokers has reduced. The quantity that a smoker smokes has reduced. Guess what is the number one fastest growing cancer in America today? Lung cancer. Esophageal cancer, but lung cancer is number two. Lung cancer, one of the fastest growing cancers in America, yet we got away from that bad, bad smoking. Folks, I believe, this is only personal, personal belief, but I believe we're going to see more and more and more evidence coming out that the very organ that's the highest percentage of water, and we are feeding it oxidative, acidic waters, that's the reason that it has the highest potential of disease of any organ within the body today. 
But closely behind that are all the other organs that we're seeing diseases behind. I'm telling you, we've got to change the pH of the body. If your body is made up, let's say, 80% water, then how much of your body is made up of the nutrients you consume? 20. 80, 20. Is there more focus in America today on nutrition and, and diets and supplementation and eating and consuming and uh, you got to eat more, you got to eat less, you got to watch your diet or water? There's more focus on nutrition. Now that's tough for me to say because that's my industry. I'm so passionate about eating proper and eating healthy and rich, nutrient-rich foods, increasing your intake of raw fruits and vegetables and grains and things like that. But guess what, folks? I'm okay to admit maybe we missed the most important aspect. Maybe we missed that the largest component of the body needs to be addressed first and foremost. I'm okay admitting that. And that's why I was able to incorporate this technology into my business, into core health products that changes lives and put it as a very integral piece in helping people find that quality of life, improving the quality of performance for professional and collegiate and high school and junior high and weekend warrior athletes. But guess what? Those athletes are no more important than you are. And in fact, we're all an athlete on our, on our own field of play. You're an athlete working nine to five, except you moms that work from midnight to midnight. <laughs> you work all day long. If we can increase that performance, that's what the goal is to me. And the fact that we have a technology that does that to me is, is extremely unique and a very uh, a great blessing. Slight acidosis, even small increase in acidity the primary alkalizing minerals in the body happens to be calcium, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. What are those also referred to as? Electrolytes. So as soon as our acidity begins to get a little bit out of range, which is anything on the acidic side, the body says, whoa, acidity is not good. That's not how our body was intended to be. I've got to rob some minerals or do whatever I can to try and neutralize that the best that I can. Do you see the, the challenge that we would be faced with if we are robbing the electrolyte minerals day after day after day after day? That's primarily why we're seeing athletes with muscle cramps and leg pulls, but it's not only athletes. Many of you know exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about waking up in the middle of the night with leg cramps. Many of you know what I'm talking about when we're talking about uh, bone density and weakness of bones because the calcium is being depleted. You all know what I'm talking about, and we're seeing these challenges skyrocketing, but yet we choose to stick our head in the sand and not want to look at the fact that we have a technology that can change the pH of the body, make it alkaline, so it does not require the robbing or the leaching of those very minerals that we so vitally need. This water, this technology has truly become an integral part of my business, core health products, of everything that I teach, whether it be a professional athletic organization, general settings in a facility like this, Olympic organizations, it doesn't matter. And as a statement from me, and I truly believe, that choosing to drink alkaline, antioxidant-rich water is the single most effective way to improve one's overall health. I truly believe that. Thanks, man. I truly believe that, folks. It is the single most important, single most important decision that anyone can make right here tonight, tomorrow, this week, this month. Now, that doesn't mean that all the other pieces aren't just also very important. But as a stake in the ground, I believe that alkaline, ion-rich water is the single most important decision that you can make. And that's why I travel across the country and support organizations and facilities just like here at InMotion OC. That's what it's about to me. And that's what it's about, I think, to many people in America that are looking for an answer today.